Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to work on this lively piece. I'm going to show you how I created it. It wasn't that hard to do and it looks stunning from across the room. Uh, the black and white looks so good against the red and I plan on doing a whole bunch of these. So, if you want to see how I'm going to create this and put it all together, stay tuned. I'll show you how. If I can do this, you can do it. So stay tuned. They seem to get larger as they go up her arm, and they're going to be tinier here. So that's going to, you know, all add interest to the painting, and her two hands might be a little bit challenging. The most challenging part of the painting, I think, is going to be her hands. This I, you know, hands to me are a little bit hard, so we'll work on those, and we'll get this all going. So if you want to stay tuned, I'll show you how I put it all together. If I can do this, you can do it. So stay tuned and we shall work on it together. Alright, I'm back and I brought my palette. Now we're only going to need a couple colors today. we got our red, black and white, and two different shades of gray, which we're going to modify and get many, many more shades of gray. We're not going to just be stuck with two. We will work on it. Okay, so let us start. Now I'm going to find start on her face. So we need a relatively small small brush that you can uh, a dagger brush. It's good for angles. Kind of like that. Uh, I'll need that one. Alright, where are the good brushes? Make something work. All right, let's mix up a nice shade of gray, whitish gray. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this gray I have out, and I'm going to add some white to it because we're going to start on our forehead right here, the lightest part, and just put that in. And it's going to be like a an abstract painting. So, we're going to work loosely. Let's get our lights in. That's a light spot. Nice and light. Okay, it's going to be light down along her jawline. That's where I have her jawline. way the light's hitting it. Alright. Gonna be light under her eye. Put your lights in it. And of course down the bridge of her nose. That won't be light. Just blend it, blend it out, from light to dark.
blood thing on this one. I'm only using black and white. It's a good study in um, learning your tonal values and how to shape blend. go for a little bit because they're going to need the most work of everything. Uh, maybe I will start, like I started right here putting in that, but I think I'm going to put in the whole outfit and get that out of the way. It's not going to be that hard, but um, this one here, I'm going to make some little circles and go around that with black. But we'll start up with the other arm. Like I said, I find hands to be a little challenging, so I'm going to spend more time on them than anything else. So we will go ahead and put in our clothing. And I'll probably just speed this up. Speed it up right about here because you don't need to see me put in all of the tedious clothing. So it's just really making some circles. 
going around them. And like I said, they're going to get larger to make an interesting pattern. And then we will work on, I don't know, maybe the background next. And work on our hands last. So I'm going to put some detail in those. This one's coming along pretty good. Um, we'll get that one next.
the inside. Might do another layer of red on the background. Some areas look thin. I already have two coats on, but I'm thinking it needs three. I don't like when it looks good like that. Alright. Nice old mistake. You just take white and touch up some of the areas that aren't quite straight. See, so touch it up. Take a look. See if there's any areas you still want to work on. Now I might later on after it dries, maybe tape out some of these and make them more square. Uh, other than that, I think it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it, and I'm planning on doing a whole series of three lively poses. You know, uh, strange backgrounds and a lot of black and white mixed with the contemporary backgrounds. So if you had fun watching, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and keep on practicing. See you in the next one.